Good evening, Family Affair. Welcome back to our channel. I want to thank you for watching and always tuning in with me. Okay, because how this coronavirus is going on and everybody trying to tell a little sneak peek peaks here and there about what's going on in their neck of the woods as far as this coronavirus, you know. Ooh, we got to sneak around to it. We got to sneak around giving that information because people don't want to uh, have you tell what's really going on in your neck of the woods. <coughs> Excuse me, point and take. That last video I had out for you all, telling y'all what um, was going on in Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia here. Honey, <laughs> they gave me a yellow strike. That means I ain't getting paid for that video. But hey, we got to do what we got to do, even if we have to break the truth in some of our commentary that we're doing on The Real Housewives of Atlanta or any other video I choose to pick out. Or put out, I should say, honey. Yeah, they don't want you telling the truth. That's why I say it. it's so much censorship to what you see on television and what you get from YouTube and any other other social media uh, outlets. You know, they want to just tell you what you can tell people or the masses out there. And if it's not what they want you to put out there, honey, you get a little yellow thing on your thing, honey. I mean, they ain't paying you for that, but it's good that... You know, it is what it is because I'm going to do and keep doing what I do for you all if for, for myself. Okay, but we're going to be talking about Nene Leaks tonight and her words of wisdom she's given us about missing that money. But what she feels other things are important as well. But when I first looked at the, um, um, the content or the information given from a journalist on their entertainment perspective on what's going on on Nene Leaks where she talks about health and wealth and and they coincide together. But I'm like, mm, okay, I'm going to give y'all my sidebars as we get into the article together because like I said, I don't really read the articles. I may just read the title. Excuse me. Just woke up from a nap, guys. But like I said, you usually just you um, review the article's title and I may read a little bit of that first paragraph and then I say, okay, this is a good story I want to talk about uh, with my fam and y'all, you know, relay in and tell me what y'all felt about it. But yeah, we're going to be talking about Nene Leakes and her money versus wealth or health <coughs> versus money, whatever. But I also want to extend, um, what do you call it? Uh, some formative information to my boo bear that was out there trying to protect me from <laughs> uh, information I put out on my video. Uh, she kind of got a little confused, but I thank you either way, boo bear, for looking out for your girl. Okay, however you see me, your aunt, your mother, your cousin, uh, whatever you know what i'm saying thank you for trying to look out for me but basically what i have been doing boo bear on my channel recently i have been trying to expose uh, certain people or certain entities or how i feel that they're not really getting down um in a righteous way in a sense i guess i want to say uh you got some tomfoolery people up here that just want to do anything for some change and get you locked up in the sauce just because they partake of the money and the greed and the power and the fame and the um idolship uh on their chosen profession which is to dib and dab or solidify themselves strictly in the entertainment industry um it's pretty much solely satanic because you actually have to sign a contract saying you're going to do this that and the third you're going to promote this that and the third uh to be able to uh get money and the fame and the wealth for your livelihood okay so follow me with this because this is on my perspective so what you've been seeing was me putting all of those uh signs and homages who they're paying um their allegiance to which is uh satan it's a satanic type industry that you're in some celebrities some entertainers have already came out and blasted them for that uh what goes on behind the closed doors of the entertainment field mostly gr given from uh entertainers uh 
perspective when it comes to the music industry. But you hear it a lot with uh, some um, entertainers that are kind of fed up with the tricks in the trade and the foolery and the things they have to do to get that money. You know what I'm saying? A lot of it is very degrading and ultimately it's almost saying uh, selling your soul or submit to me or I got to get rid of you. You know what I'm saying? And it can go either way. And I'm just speaking under un, underhand, you know, under the uh, radar. You're going to sell your soul, do what they want to do, or, or show what they want you to show while getting this money. Or we can get rid of you in a sense. You know, we can damage your career where you'll make no more money. Or we can pretty much get rid of you, meaning put you six feet under. Okay? That's just my perspective of how I see and view things from what I've heard okay people tell us about the entertainment industry and just you could just watch it yourself and watch your favorite artists and how they started off one way then they start off they start off one way and they you know gradually go down the road and then they start changing up their style their look uh what is being presented in their videos how they do certain hand sign gestures or whatever and you know if you try to do the hand signs yourself and i put them also in my videos to kind of watch out um uh, to who's saluting who you know what i'm saying um because it is coming to a, a sense where you're going to either practice something good or you're going to practice something bad you're going to either love money or you're going to hate uh the lord or you know it's very biblical and we're going through a very opening or eye-opening experience now with this coronavirus and the way everything is going down because believe it or not it's going to come a time where we're going to have to decide whether we're going to sell our souls to the uh, the world or we're going to conform from the world and transform or not are we going to conform to the world and it's um dealings of how they get down or we're going to transform from the world and have our uh, eyes set on something a little higher, a little soul saving, uh, serenity and peace. You know, that's just my take on it. You know, I made no qualms about who I serve and how uh, I feel about certain things when it comes to uh, making money the professional way versus uh, making money the easy and I want to say beefing way because that's basically what you get on TV is a lot of people going crazy coming out their character and trying to make money the easy way instead of going into and staying into a profession that is definitely worth being in like the health care field or uh, and it's many facets you can practice medicine in whether you become a doctor or a nurse or administrative assistant or CNA, you know, just a lot of different things under the umbrella of medical that you can do uh, real well in and make your money, okay, that's pleasing to the Lord in a sense, it's not degrading yourself, it's not making yourself look like a fool, it's not, you know, uh, you're beefing for the arena or the uh, money that you want to make, and that's what a lot of these uh, human beings have done to themselves instead of working in professional fields like being a lawyer a doctor a pilot a nurse a food service worker janitor uh, it person um just you know anything that requires certification or post-secondary education that you can get in and make money but the entertainment field is so uh satanic it's like they are basically telling you to come over here join this franchise and we will make you rich we will make you wealthy we will make you uh the apple of a lot of uh fans eyes where they worship you and we know that's just a practice of satanic for those who know and can see and um can hear so a lot of people that could have done very professional things very honorable things in the eyes of the lord even being an owner of clothing wear or some type of service that a lot of people want to partake of to make their money but they'd rather go on tv uh especially when this reality show started to make its uh entrance uh in the 2000s i believe uh the uh early part of the 2000s they brought out reality tv stars like you know, a lot of them, Big Brother, uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta, um, 
golly. There's just so many of them out there. Those are the ones I can only think of out the top of my head. But if you really sit down and you think about what you look at on TV and how many scenarios they try to spin, that is definitely against your religion and what you believe in and how far fast they take a scenario, a situation, and where they get all these people to partake. Oh, you know that show called Lucifer. Um... Day. As I go along, I'll probably think of some what I'm talking. But this is the things I do, Boo Bear, is to basically let you be aware of what you're watching and how these people get down and how they do their uh, signs or expressions with their hands to show who they really pay homage to and who they really look up to to make their money. Um, and I'm just giving you little bits and pieces of basically <coughs> how they go about paying uh significant homage or praise to satan uh to be on his platform to be able to make this money here and now be able to rub heads with some of the other famous people out there to have a lucrative life to have people praising them shut up elijah come here and all of this nature so when you saw those uh clips i'm giving you like little hints for you to go and do your own research like the number 13 god doesn't need all these symbols and signs and numbers and whatever uh to express himself or to show who he is you know everything that's in the bible or the Quran or whatever have certain Bible passages and you go and read them. What well, God has made for good, Satan makes for bad. So the number 13 has very significant uh, reasoning and understanding when it comes to the satanic world or how they use numbers to blaspheme what God had put out there for us to use as uh you know guidance in the Bible. But he makes reference for it to be satanic because he don't want people to praise anybody but him he don't want human beings to do the right thing when it comes to loving their neighbors and and uh doing for their neighbors as well as they would do for themselves and treat everybody just really nice and good and have a, a professional life you know what i'm saying even if it ain't nothing but bagging groceries working in a grocery store cleaning up out the people that is an honest hard working job that uh is liking to the lord in a sense because you're serving others we're here to serve not to be served but hollywood has made it a very uh what do you call it eye candy type of situation where if you do all these dirty dastrous de deeds then uh you'll get paid for it but you got to do a little this to get a, a lot of that you see what i'm saying so when you see like um numbers uh and i'm trying to show you certain reference points of how our entertainers get down that we kind of like we look up to or we just you know enjoy them entertaining us what they have to do to do what they do you know what i'm saying it's like a double-edged sword you get this but then you have all this bad stuff that's going to happen to you and people around you or whatnot that you're going to be part partaking of in that pool of living so you will see some things that i try to drop off uh or try to drop knowledge to when it comes to things that i find interesting in, and then i have to see so much satanic referencing that i like my family and you know my biological family as well as being here on the family affair to be aware of these things don't always be like the sheep and follow 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 think out the box look and review on what you're looking at and if you go and research these signs these numbers um uh, just certain uh we call it apparel that they wear and you know go back to egyptian times and, and it, it shows you a lot of damaging things and um to our human race that they do to promote a satanic uh type of agenda and i'm giving you a little piece of the puzzle of the big picture that you're gonna have to make on your own by doing your own uh, due diligence your own research and see just how these people get down uh, by imp by me plugging in some pictures, some signs, some verbal information. I'm doing that to teach you to go and think out the box and research this stuff. And so when I do come in with commentary, you'll see me making, you know, reference through video clips 
when I'm talking about these celebrities, when I'm doing commentary on them, just so you can have an understanding on what's really going on. Now, again, like I said, it's only from my perspective. And, you know, you all can take what you want to take out of it, view it how you want to view with it. And, you know, you can definitely get in the comments and try to tell me, like he was telling me, you were seeing uh, video clips among my video clips that basically was doing a lot of satanic. So you evidently know about that world. Oh, you studied up on it. So that's you know, that's something I did to engage and to definitely um, tell my family about it so they can be aware of these things as they're going forward. Because I'm telling you, they're going to be ushering in martial law. I may be not living at that time, you know, because God has called me home or whatnot, because we all have our expiration time on this earth. Um but it's going to come a time where you're going to have to decide who you're going to serve. Either you're going to serve the satanic realm or you're going to serve the uh, noble and uh, glorifying positive realm. Okay, you're going to choose bad over good or good over bad. Because it's going to come a time, it's biblically, biblically stated in the Bible. You're going to love one and you're going to hate the other. But you're going to have to choose. Meaning it's freely given. It's not going to be like... No, no, you're going to choose this. You're going to choose that. No, he's going to let you freely choose your destination. And believe it or not, we're going to a digital age where they're going to take away the almighty dollar. It's going to be worth nothing. And they're going to be trying to get us to use all these uh, credit cards. or It's going to be like a digital format of trading goods for services. You know what I'm saying? So uh, in order to sell and buy, you're going to have to... Uh, further down the road or maybe just around the corner you got to choose whether you're going to take a uh the mark of the beast or some type of symbol to show others that you're a part of this program and they're going to allow you to do this because you did that type of scenario point and take i'm not going to be here i'm not going for that so uh, if i can't freely choose whether i want to do this or that and I still can't have my goods to survive then, you know, Lord, take me home, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to choose to do bad constantly just to say I got food on the table for my family. Because, no, that's just, we all religious in my house. We all praise one God. And uh, y'all, like I say, know who I praise. So, I, you know, I just won't be here. And it is going to come a time where they're going to take internet from us. Or they're going to censor us so bad, the algorithms are going to figure out what you're saying what you're doing is if it goes against what they want you to say they're gonna pull your channel you know or they're gonna strike you up so bad you ain't gonna be able to make money off of it now or you may not be able to come on to even say okay i ain't making no money but i'm gonna spread my own truth <coughs> so i said that to say this um you weren't uh wrong in your observation it was just uh, no one was putting it on my channel. I was putting it out there for myself, Boo Bear. So hopefully I made some clarification uh, on what you were seeing and you were trying to notify me of uh, just so uh, you can be uh, aware of what I am doing. But anyway, I know I took a little longer than I wanted to, but when Family Affair reach out to me and it's close to my heart and it's close to their heart because they're trying to figure out what's going on and, you know, they feel they need to help me out as much as I can, which I do definitely appreciate. Boo Bear, I try to take a little time to explain, you know, uh, to my family what is going on and why I did certain things. Okay, but let's get on into it. We ain't going to tear no more. Uh, on the story we did on Nene Leaks, uh, VI way of Alex uh, Alexis Stone working over there at Celebrity Insider putting out her uh, commentary for us to partake of. She gives us a story article titled as Nene Leaks Talks Money Versus Health and See the Messages to Her Fans. Okay. It goes on to say, Nene Leak shared a message on her social media account in which she's addressing how much she loves making money. Okay, ain't money is the root of all evil, especially if you practice doing it the wrong way. Because money is supposed to be a, uh, a means to an end, and that's basically to enjoy to a certain extent, to give, because those who gi are, are given much have much responsibility to others. Okay, just my sidebar, but money is not supposed to be uh 
thought of as attaining more wealth, more wealth, more wealth, and you're not giving out there. Then that becomes a sin in the Lord's eyes. Okay, I'm just saying, just trying to break down some information for y'all from my perspective. But going back to the article, it says uh, she addressing how much she loves making money. Stop it, Elijah. But she also made sure to highlight. Sorry about that, fam. The babies done got into the garbage can in the guest room. Okay. It's t- crazy because my family is staying here through this coronavirus situation. And, whoo, the dogs are just getting into all of this stuff. But that's just my sidebar. Let's get back to uh, the headlines here. It says um, she loves making money, but she also made sure to highlight the fact that there are more important things in the world and the most important is obviously health yes nini had told us on her last episode or on the season 12 the last episode about you can't have wealth without good health okay and i'm like no nah, nini you can have wealth and have poor health <laughs> okay but you can still have wealth and wealth will get you in a lot of doors that other people uh, that don't have the wealth can't get into it. especially the coronavirus y'all it's my sidebar again okay i know i'm going a little longer than i anticipated but i'm just saying the story that i bring out sometimes have to go with a lot of sidebars and i have to break off in different directions because i want y'all to be in the know of some things now this coronavirus here how is it that all these celebrities can get tests okay they can get tested for it don't have to go through no rigorous type of format or uh what do you call it stipulations you have to meet or requirements you have to meet to be able to be uh able to take a test or be granted the okay to be given a test to test for the coronavirus i mean you got andy cohen out there you got uh a few of my celebrities that i watch on uh soap operas you got uh, a few of them coming out with the coronavirus have been tested and they telling us that they got the uh, virus. And then you got some of these uh, NBA stars and football stars being tested positive for the coronavirus. And, you know, just a lot of wealthy and influent people are getting these tests. OK, while hard working, everyday working Americans that want to take the test and our seasoned elderly folks want to get the test and we can't even damn get it. Now, I find that very disheartening. But again, it goes on to what I'm talking about when you get down in the playground of the satanic realm, who gets what, why they get it. And you ain't can't do a damn thing about it. You see what I'm saying? Money walks bullshit women. Bullshit women. How it go? Money talks and bullshit walks when it comes to that old money dollar. You see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying, family? How the hell all these folk that got money can go out there and get tested? But we can't. And they already saying in so many cities, including mine, we only had 50 tests to begin with. And that was just two weeks ago. And we ain't got no more tests out there. Or that we got them and they only conserved them conserving them for only the wealthy and affluent or our political people out there because you know it, ah, it just get on my nerve but i'm just letting you know how this almighty satanic dollar get down okay in our world of living but going back to the article it says um check out the useful message that nini shared with her fans and followers on her social media account if you well i think she meant to say if you're anything like me getting to the money is what you do and love to do my home is actually like a hotel to me because i'm so in and out lying here in my bed i have thought of how much money i'm missing out on nini began her post okay we didn't need to hear all that nini because we know how you get down and we know who you serve all right baby girl and what you did to get in that position and what you still gonna have to do the rest of your life because of that sign seal contract you sign with the devil okay but anyway it is what it is and for her to say she lives in so much luxury okay baby 
Hollywood got you there, but we'll see how it plays out as you go along within your worldly living. All right, baby girl. All right, moving on from there. It says she continued and said, then I thought my health is my wealth. Money can't buy that. <clears throat> There's things out called the coronavirus that's changing lives and not in such a good way. It is important that you stay at home where you're safe. Okay, Nene, sidebar again. I'm getting sick and tired of these people telling us as meaning celebrities and other people of that nature that if it wasn't for us partaking of their mess that they give us they wouldn't have any livelihoods you know like tom hanks how he don't make so many movies we don't went out there and watched him watch him on other sitcoms he may be on as well as other adventures you know we support them with our dollars our change our hard working spiritual dollars you know to partake in this fuckery shit okay going on it's our fault Yes, it is making them and continue to making them rich because if it wasn't for us watching them and patroning them, they wouldn't be on the platform that they are on. Trust and believe that. But anyway, I'm so tired of folks telling folks to stay at home. You know what I'm saying? When they ain't talking to the main folks that these people as such as myself and others are employed by. OK, if you don't get to them and tell them don't we call it. Uh, punish us or feel like we have to stay there or we're replaceable uh don't sit up there and say on your higher platforms such as the mayor the governor the president to stay at home because only a select few are being able to stay at home and when i got to thinking about that thing all the people that i've seen were government officials state officials uh uh, what do you call it? The malls where you go shopping at and congregate. They took all the sports uh, places uh, that we go and partake of for enjoyment. Anything in the entertainment field that we have to go outside and actually venture into and be at. They don't took all that from us. So you're talking about those workers. All right. The people that serve you through the basketball, football, baseball games. You don't took bread out their mouth and their livelihood of providing for their family those type of people but other people out here they going to work every day not getting tested for the coronavirus and infecting each other on a daily basis because ain't nobody too hard or much uh standing six feet away okay or practicing distancing all right so Shut up, Nene, when you're talking this foolishness, okay? You're on a platform where you don't have to be at work, okay? And that's some of the benefits I guess you get at this time. But guess what, baby? It's going to be a time where it's going to be from the who's who. Who got money and who don't, okay? Who's in the multi-million dollar range, you know what I'm saying? Versus the ones that's in the $1,000 range or, you know, $100,000 range or just a one million dollar range it's gonna be a range for even the wealthy okay so get used to it baby y'all going close to that scenario but anyway uh going back to the article it says continue to wash your hands wipe counters mop common traffic areas of your home and stay hydrated with water we in this together no baby we ain't in this together <laughs> because if that's the truth hell all of us will be at home except for hospital workers all right Everybody will be at home again. Let me say that everybody will be at home except for the healthcare workers in the hospitals. Okay, that's how I deem it. All right, but we're not living in that type of world. Only the affluent people, okay, can sit there and partake of stay at home. Because what about your workers you had to lay off, Nene, because of this pandemic? Are you treating them like the cream of the cream, like you're getting down at your home? Are you paying them supplemental pay as long as what the unemployment people are paying them? Are you giving them a little checky check, extra checky check each week or each or twice a week or twice a month? Are you doing that for them, supplemental pay? I don't think so. But anyway, I'm going to move on. All right. She goes on to say, someone said, correct, sis, you're looking gorgeous and relaxed. And another follower said, you are so correct. Health is well. We need to be reminded of this. 
Okay, the only way you're going to be reminded if you tell them health uh officials as well as these politicians when they go into uh we're going out there voting and telling them what we want and then they say okay just vote me in when they vote you in, we vote you in you go on and do the nice turn uh about face and show us your ass and forget about who put you there because things still ain't changed okay we're talking about the uh policy policy holder makers uh, but it just is what it is Going to another follower, they said, so true, I had to sit down with my doctor today because I had severe precancerous cells in my cervix and needed surgery. I thought losing 90% of my clothes this weekend when my house flooded with sewer water. Now I wish that was my only worry. Someone else also said that money is not the most important thing in the world these days. Money comes and goes, but time is brutally finite resource. Okay. Uh, one another commenter said, people praise athletes, stars, musicians, money, and materialistic things. None of that matters now because it's time to praise. Go. All right. <laughs> that was a good one. Uh, another follower said, as another theory, and said, I'm using this time to focus on God Almighty because he is the one that controls all things. He's the one that gives me health to work and provide for my family. The world has been shut down because God wants everyone's attention. People have turned away from what's important. That is doing what God has called each and every one of us to be. Uh, and that's a servant unto, unto him. Yep, that's what it's all about living in this world to serve others, not to serve self. But again, that's just my perspective. And then at towards the end of the article, it says, do you agree with what Nene had to say? Well, pretty much Nene didn't say too much in my eyes that I didn't already know. Uh, it just is what it is. It's your perspective of how you view people. When they give you certain information, it's what you do with it that matters. Uh, we're not here to follow each other. We're here to serve, and we're trying to be the best stewards of our money as possible. Because you even got preachers and, and rabbis and, and priests out there trying to get your money during this hard time. Uh, expressing that they're still trying to do the work of the Lord, and they need your help. When we know... Uh, 98% of them are just lying in their own pockets and want to uh, think about their families and take that money and do the wrong things with it, meaning self-serving instead of giving it back to the people. Because uh, like I had told my mom, you know, you got to know the Lord for yourself. And you got to know how to pray to the Lord for yourself because these entities are such as synagogues, churches, a uh, place you go into worship. They ain't going to be there. They are not going to be there. They're going to turn your stomach to where you don't even want to go there and participate with other uh, potential followers or followers of the same faith. You got to know the Lord or your spirituality, however you get down, Buddhism, whatever. You got to know them for yourselves, okay? You got to learn how to pray for yourselves. I say all the time. I'm going to pray, you know, and I want other people to pray for me as well. Just turning another leaf that I'm going to pray for you as well. You pray for me. We all pray together and, you know, we all become solidified under one faith, you know what I'm saying? Or our particular faith that we believe in. But it's nothing and not no powerful way you can do is having a personal relationship with uh, whoever you deem as your uh all and be all your provider your savior okay i already told you jesus christ um is my rock my savior the one i look to even when i fall short of his goodness and grace every day okay every day whether i'm thinking something terrible or i'm doing something terrible you know but i always try to repent uh, when I see myself doing something or I said something wrong, it may affect others or even myself. And it's just not looking lovely in his eyes. Okay. But that's all I want to give y'all was a little word uh, of advice. If you take it good, if you don't. Okay. Uh, and just give you a little celebrity news insight of what another celebrity is out there doing and on the streets, especially in Atlanta. And just telling you what is actually happening in my neck of the woods with this uh virus thing going on and how they're continually telling us to don't do this don't do that but only a select few of people are being uh affected okay but y'all get down in them comments uh, 
definitely get down and talk with me about it uh the issue or any other issue you want to talk about and continue to subscribe tell others about the channel and share my videos or our videos i should say and i'll see y'all next time okay peace and blessings